what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lesage here. Today we are going to be talking about the deck that brings the hands, Turbo Iron Hands, or Iron Hands EX with Iron Crown EX. A lot of people have called this deck Future Box in the past, myself included, but I do believe they are their own separate archetypes. Is this deck going to pop off, get that turn one Maridon attack off? We'll have to find out in this video. Included is going to be my list, the strategy, and some gameplay. So if you like all that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump into the deck list. Iron Hands is coming out hot in this format, and the goal of this deck is to really use Maridon turn one to accelerate energies to your Iron Hands EX. We have a lot of support cards, such as Arvin, that allow us to get into that future booster energy capsule to retreat out of anything, and of course, we can increase our damage with Iron Crown EX. There's a lot of really cool pieces going on in this deck, so I do want to jump into it a little bit more in depth. Um, otherwise, if you need to play this deck or if you want to copy and paste this deck on PTCG Live, the deck list is available in the description. You can copy and paste that right in. If there's any cards you need, check out our sponsors at Kfabe, at PTCGL Store. They'll gladly hook you up with whatever you need just by checking out their links in the description. Let's jump into that strat. This is very much an Iron Hands EX deck. And the reason why this deck didn't exist before is because Ampy very much can only hit for 120 damage. But when you play with Iron Crown EX, we can slap four of those into play, and now we can hit for 200 damage. Give it a future booster energy capsule and you're hitting for 220. That's enough to knock out most Pokemon EX uh, that are basic Pokemon or Pokemon V that are basic Pokemon let alone Lugia V-Star regaining popularity and being able to draw three prize cards at a time with Ampy very much. Maridon allows us to use its peak acceleration attack to do 40 damage and we can accelerate to our iron hands so that we're able to either arm press or Ampy very much out of nowhere. We can keep that coming by slapping on a heavy baton so if one of our iron hands EX is knocked out by damage from an attack, uh, move up to three basic energy from that Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So we can accelerate those energies to another Iron Hands and Baton pass those on, or we can attack with something like Mew EX. We also have a Maridon EX, one of the cards that people aren't very hyped to pull out of their packs, but its Cyber Drive attack is quite powerful by doing 220 damage, not accounting for all the Cobalt Command abilities we have from Iron Crown EX to really power it up. One thing that I haven't seen in a few online lists is Iron Bundle. You can use its Hyper Blower ability to switch your opponent's active with one of their bench Pokemon. They still get to choose, but it's kind of like a half escape rope and it is searchable by our Techno Radar. Beyond the cards that we're going to be using to search out our uh, Pokemon with Techno Radar or Nest Ball, we do have Electric Generator, which we could use to accelerate energy to our Lightning Pokemon in any way we like, giving us ways to power up Iron Hands as quickly as possible. It's very possible to get turn one Ampy very much with this deck, uh, kind of like a Maridon deck would. We also have a lot of Gust cards when it comes down to it, such as playing Counter Catcher, Boss's Orders, or even the new Prime Catcher. The rest of the deck is pretty much going to be energies when it comes down to it, and we're just really trying to attach those to our Pokemon. So enough said let's jump into this iron hands ex deck profile go over the gameplay see exactly what we got going on and i hope you enjoy the gameplay that we have in this video all right so we're gonna call the coin flip and hopefully we get a chance to go second here i think i called heads right yeah so we don't want to go first it's so we can attack with maride on turn one um or maybe even attacking with an electric generator and iron hands so this is looking like we're doing pretty good. We're going to just start off right on simple. And you can see that we can layer this peak acceleration 40, 60, 80. We can even hit upwards of 120 depending on whatever opponent has. Um, looking pretty good here to get off a big attack. We do play a couple psychic energies so we can attack with uh, Sparkling Strike or the Maridon EX. Can be quite strong against control based decks. waiting for our opponent to get set up here i really like these uh the deli bird sleeves and deck box okay so we're playing against ancient box versus future box kind of ancient versus future we'll see how it goes um we could actually just knock out this karate on turn one if they don't really get anything going depending on our prize cards which would be sick i mean getting a turn one knockout especially if they attach an energy to it would be fantastic 
there's the ancient booster energy castle we'll see what they decided to go for here roaring moon if they grab squawk ability i'm assuming squawk ability is going to hit the floor that's a potential target for later on in the game um especially since it's weak to lightning and we can knock it out uh, relatively easily with an iron hands ex if we could just top deck one more card um <clears throat> my life would kind of be made here They've discarded a lot of valuable resources to start off the game. It's kind of uh, big, tough. We get a top deck. Okay, so I think what we end up going for here is we go Techno Radar discarding a Poke Gear, and we see what we could do. Um, I think what we need to do is end up getting Iron Crown, Iron Crown. Like, if we can get them all here. Why don't I not? Like, I probably should take a knockout um, on their Pokemon and start, like, doubling up. Because if I draw one prize card here, three prize cards here, two prize cards there, that does win us the game. Um, so, in, in my case, I think I'd much rather like to go with Iron Crowns uh, because we're doing 40 plus 4, 180, and then we get a Future Booster Energy Capsule and another Techno Radar. Um... I'm going to have to grab another Pokemon that I'm going to end up discarding. So in this case, I'm going to grab a Maridon EX because I'm going to grab another Techno Radar. So let's go Arvin here for a Techno Radar and a Future Booster Energy Capsule. We're going to go Techno Radar away the Maridon. And this is going to allow us to get the Iron Crown and our Iron Hand. So we're able to quickly power up our Pokemon. We can drop one, two three four future booster energy capsule iron hands goes down energy goes here and we're gonna go peak acceleration for the turn one knockout on the Coridon. i am a little bit worried since iron crowns are worth two prize cards each uh, and i am gonna go psychic energy attaching it to the iron hands um, just because i want to have more lightning energies for uh electric generator but um, I'm fine drawing the prize card here because we have a solid game plan to knock out this Roaring Moon and to knock out this Squawk Ability. So that's what our game plan is, is that we just need to be doing that as of next turn. Pretty sure we're going to be getting knocked out in response. So that's another thing we got to watch out for here because they are currently hitting for 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, I'll double check. 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. 120 that's enough to knock out the Maridon. but if they don't have all the if they don't have an, a darkness energy or something like that they might not be able to get the knockout on the Maridon. and then we are just back in the driver's seat allowing us to have one less piece of the puzzle here because really we we're gonna have the uh professor's research in some very ideal cards uh, we, will, we will need to get around this Iron Hands going in and out of the active. <sighs> we'll have to see exactly what's going on here. If worse comes to worse, maybe I just end up the Iron Hands and draw two prize cards. Might be a little bit spooky, but like... It's, it's probably a little bit more spooky for me to lose an Iron Crown. Maybe not depending on what they get here. If they miss the knockout, I'm way more chillin'. Um, it's just because these Pokemon don't have free retreat, um, and I'm going to need to have an electric uh, generator in order to attack with Iron Hands this turn. I only need to hit one, um, but the way that they're like kind of thinking about it makes me think otherwise. They might be missing something. They have gone through a lot of resources. Um, part of me thinks it's probably better to just send up the Iron Hands EX and take the knockouts. We'll see how it ends up playing out here. They're really taking a long time on this decision, so it makes me wonder like what they're like kind of thinking. Like maybe they have a counter catcher and they're like, should I draw two prize guards? 170 yeah i think so i'm going to end up attacking with the iron hands uh and just drawing the one prize card so it does give us an additional turn of gameplay 
Um, the Iono here is actually quite nice because they might not have all the cards that they want in their hands. So I'm going to play the Iono here. Rip, uh, rip this hand instead of having the research. And if anything goes wrong next turn, I'm just going to go ahead and search for Arvin and I have electric generator. So we're going to go ahead here and go for arm press for 240. Uh, it's nice having that boosted damage and we will score the knockout here onto this roaring moon. So our opponent in order to get the response back onto this is going to have to find a roaring moon EX or a regular roaring moon and find a way to hit 230 damage. Um, we're above the Calamity Storm damage, so they are going to have to damage themselves. We're in a pretty okay spot here, I think, uh, to get a knockout response onto the Roaring Moody X. As long as we don't get Iono'd, Roxanne's, Judged, anything else like that. So we'll have to see how it all plays out. Okay, so there's their Nest Ball. They also need to have a Professor Seda's Vitality here. Um, if they don't have Professor Seda's, they're likely just not getting off anything. And the way that they're kind of going through their hands tells me that they probably don't. Um, everything is subjective, though. Like, I just, maybe they're just searching out their deck because they need one more piece or another earthen vessel pitching. There's a lot of energies that are in their discard pile at this moment. Um, there's a Seda's. They've discarded more Sedas than playing them. And they didn't get Dark Patches out of their deck. Uh, so I think we're probably okay this turn. And everything's fine for us just to go Arbin, get set up. We're okay there. Um, we can knock out all of their Pokemon, whether it's through Ampy very much or anything else like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a concession. Uh, maybe they just have double Dark Patch like that and they're, they're, they're big chillin'. another dark energy part of me just wants to really knock out that roaring moony x um if i did like i think what i might do is i want to soft pull that trigger because we can get the knockout with arm press there um i want to see if pokestop here can get me something if anything that really just sucked um I think it's better for me to go boss on this because they've gone through enough like cards where I don't think they're going to necessarily get there. Um, but part of me also thinks that it's better to just go squawk ability. Uh, have they used a lost vacuum? I think I win this game no matter which way it goes, but I guess it's only from damage. So I can't, I'm just going to go bring this up. I'm going to attach an energy for my turn onto Iron Crown here, or actually, I guess onto here. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get the knockout with Arm Press. Still able to draw two prize cards, which puts me in line to winning the game on time. Uh, they could get a knockout with Roaring Moon. They are gonna have to have a Dark Energy and they're gonna have to have a Professor Satas. So I think that's a little bit of a better play. I would have, I, I don't have the stability here, but even if I grab the heavy baton, um, if they knock this out, heavy baton is only by damage from an attack, um, not from effects of an attack, right? So if we are knocked out, uh, we wouldn't get the energies anyways. So, so far we might be doing okay. A little scary to see another dark patch there not entirely sure uh, like they got switch card they got dark patch they're hitting for quite a bit probably gonna attach to baby roaring moon um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, i mean i can't count the numbers because ptcg live's not letting me they're probably like how many am i doing um 230, I guess, is the number of what happens. Um, and we have a little bit of time here, I think. Okay, well, that's a little bit more reassuring. Um, in this case, I think what I'm going to do is just go for Arvin searching my deck for a future booster energy capsule and an electric generator. Should have a pretty good chance here. 
uh, considering I have four electric generators. So there's two. Three, that's already game. So we're just gonna go ahead here and retreat and win the game uh, against our opponents because we are able to hit you ampy very much. So really fun and interactive gameplay, but we were able to uh, draw some extra prize cards there effectively and win the game uh, a little bit quicker. Some tough prize cards, but we got there. Super solid uh, showcase of this deck. As you can see, the Turbo Iron Hands deck goes crazy sometimes, being able to reach those turn one knockouts, being able to accelerate energies, and really like kind of rule your own game. I could have maybe got set up, but I went for a little bit more of an aggressive route. I wasn't expecting to get knocked out, but since they had to do everything that they could and couldn't disrupt my hand, we were able to jump back into that game four electric generators and absolutely push through. I, I arguably think that this is going to be one of the more popular decks in this format, similar to what Maridon or Roaring Mooney X was in our past format. So if you're looking for a new good deck to play around that could pretty much beat anyone um, because it's quick and aggressive and, and decently well positioned, I uh, give the Turbo Iron Hands deck a try. Um, Really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you need any of the cards for this deck, again, check the description for our sponsors at Kayfabe, PTCGL Store, protect your cards with Ultimate Guard products. I just got some of the new deck boxes here. They look fantastic and they're storing uh, my awesome decks very well. Awesome designs. If you need any more help to up your game, hit me up on some for some Pokemon coaching. I'm literally stuttering here. Some Pokemon coaching, metafy.gg slash at Zach Lesage. I also have access to all of my personal deck lists available on my Patreon, so check those all out in the description. I'll catch up with all y'all later. Peace out and have a great one. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. made it to the end thank you so much for watching this entire video from the shuffle squad honestly from the bottom of our hearts we appreciate each and every person that supports our content watches what we have going on every single day every single week even from time to time and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the pokemon tcg community so if you haven't already be sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.